I've been really enjoying doing different themed decor DIYs for summer. We have done honeybee DIYs, lemon DIYs, and today we are going to do strawberry themed DIYs, so stay tuned. This is Whiskey and Wit, I'm Whitney, and if you are new to this channel, I do a ton of DIY and budget home decor, as well as Cricut tips and wood builds. So if you're interested in all things DIY, be sure to hit that button so you don't miss a future video. Let's get crafting with these really easy and super cute felt and fabric strawberries. This super cute fabric I recently got at Walmart is going to be in a ton of projects today. And I also grabbed some felt for this first project. I used my Cricut to cut out various sizes of strawberry shapes as well as some leaves to trace. If you don't have a Cricut, no worries. You can definitely just cut it out yourself, print it out on your printer, etc. It was just a time saver for me to use my Cricut. I grabbed a fine tip Sharpie, doubled up my items so I had a front and a back, traced, and then cut my different size strawberries so I'd have a variety. Once my main pieces were cut out, then I cut out the leaves, and this is just a Dollar Tree felt. It was $1 for a roll, and I didn't even use half of it. Once I had all my pieces cut out, it was time to assemble, so I went through with my small hot glue gun and glued all of the edges except for just a little flap so that I could add some polyfill. You can stuff with whatever you would like. I just had a bag of polyfill on hand. I just went through with all of my different pieces and got them stuffed. Once they were full, I used some more hot glue on the edge to complete the seal. And then the last step was using some hot glue, I just attached my little leaves so that they wouldn't fall off my cute little fabric strawberries. I really like how the red as well as the red and white check go together. I did four different sizes starting with a four inch tall all the way up to a nine inch tall for both types of materials. Next, let's make this really cute ramekin dish. So I found these napkins at Marshall's and they were only four bucks for these large ones. And so I figured they would be nice to use for parties, but I took one out and used it for this DIY. This little ramekin dish came from Dollar Tree and I decided to cut out as close as I could to the little strawberries, the different pieces, just so then I would have some to decoupage on to my little bowl. I cut out a handful and then started applying. I just used a little bit of Mod Podge, painted it on, and then used both the brush and my fingers to get the strawberry pieces to kind of sit into those different grooves. I did a random pattern, so I just went through and added some in the center, some at the top, some I overlapped the top edge as well as the bottom, and just kind of gave it like a stamped look with the strawberries. I let everything dry for about five to 10 minutes so it wasn't tacky, and then I went through with a final coat of Mod Podge as a water sealant. I also grabbed a red dish of the same size from Dollar Tree and just added some Dollar Tree ribbon. This is actually stuff I bought back on Valentine's Day, but you could find red and white checked ribbon at your local craft store or Walmart. I just tied on a little bow, added some extra hot glue so it wouldn't fall off of the round shape, trimmed the edges, and this looks like a cute little container for strawberries. I bought a container of some faux strawberries because I really liked using the faux lemons for the last video. And so filling that up, they are really cute. If you look really close, they do look artificial. Obviously they're plastic, but if you just put them on a tiered tray, they do the job just fine. It would not be a themed video without these cute little rolling pins. I've been doing these for each theme and I love it. This time I wanted to try something different and incorporate some more fabric and different colors. So these are from Hobby Lobby. They're the wood pile unfinished. However, you can find them on Amazon and I will put that link down below for you. My first step was to tape off the little handles and give it a quick sand because they are unfinished and rough. And then I used some off-white ivory chalk paint from Waverly and covered two of the centers. I decided after I taped them off that I wanted to do one with fabric, so I took the tape off and did the handles that ivory color as well. 
Then I took that handy dandy fabric from Walmart and I cut a piece the width of my little rolling pin. And then I used Mod Podge to decoupage it around until I got to the end. And then I just fold it over, kind of like if you're wrapping a present and sealed it down with Mod Podge. I let that dry for a couple minutes and then I did another sealant coat on top of that fabric just to make sure it would stay down. I trimmed the edges, made sure anything that was frayed was pushed down with Mod Podge. And then I finished off that look with just some white baker's twine that I got from Dollar Tree. It's just the cotton twine and I tied it because I just liked the white look more than the jute twine. Now for another look on this, I used some leftover strawberries that I had from that ramekin dish to kind of tie them together and I just decoupaged that with some Mod Podge onto there. I also took some red paint and painted the little handles so that those popped when I was putting them in my display. For one of the two with the red handles, I added a quick little decal that says strawberries. I got a lot of questions last time about the font. This font is apricots in Canva, but I will link this file down below if you'd like to cut it out on your vinyl machine. And then I finished it off with a little bit more of that red and white checked ribbon from Dollar Tree. I just tied that onto the end. And as you could see when I applied it, I put my decal a little bit to the right so I had room for my ribbon. Then my final one, I wanted to make it look a little bit different, so instead of tying on just that ribbon, I took a scrap piece of that fabric, tied it in a long piece, and then tied it on to the end. This one's kind of just an accent one. And here's what they look like. I love the red and white. They are super cheery. You could also adapt this if you're doing patriotic decor. There are a ton of different ways that you can make over these little rolling pins. They really fill out tiered trays and give it a little bit of character. Up next are these wood strawberries. I absolutely love these and I'm getting a lot better with my jigsaw as well. So I took some of my larger stencils from those fabric strawberries and I traced them onto a scrap piece of birch plywood I had left over from a recent wood sign project. I did two of the large ones and two of the next size smaller. Then I made sure to grab my safety goggles. Make sure you wear these when you're sanding and cutting with a jigsaw because pieces fly everywhere. And then I went through and cut off each of my pieces. I like to get each piece individually so that it's a little easier to work with when I'm doing the edges. And here is how I was able to do kind of the tighter areas. I would cut a little bit inward and then instead of being able to do that quick turn, I would just cut about half of it, cut down the center and then cut the opposite direction. It worked better for me. I don't worry too much about the jagged edges because I'm going to just go ahead and sand it. I took my orbital sander, I made sure to get all of the edges really well, as well as the tops and the bottoms. You want to make sure that it's soft to the touch. A, it will take your paint better, and B, it will just look a lot more finished. So then once those were all done, I decided to go the spray paint route, but you could definitely paint it with acrylic paint. This was just a lot quicker, and I like this vibrant red. Once I got the top, the bottom, and the edges done, I came back in and used my same little template that I did for the felt ones and added a little guideline for the leaves just so I knew where to paint. Then I just grabbed some green acrylic paint that I had in my stash that closely resembled a strawberry leaf and I used a small paintbrush to paint on the leaves. Then I decided to do a couple different finishes. So one I left as is, a couple I did these little tick marks to look like seeds with my oil-based white sharpie. And then I also cut out a Cricut decal that says strawberry patch you pick. And this is a free download available over on my blog. The link to that is down in the description. Pretty much anything I make today is a free cut file so you can go grab that. I added it to my strawberry. I decided to outline my leaf in a green. I didn't like it, so I went back over it with that white marker and I liked that much better. Here are the two different looks of my larger strawberries and these are the nine inch ones. I really love them. They will add some character to different displays and the smaller ones fit really well on tiered trays. Also, if you're not a wood project person or you don't have a jigsaw, you could also do something similar with some foam board and then just add some Jenga blocks to the back to get them to stand up. 
Up next, let's make this really cute little farmhouse beaded garland. So I had this pack of pom-poms that are patriotic from another project, but I decided to use the red and white from that to make a little garland. So I just took a needle and thread, that cotton twine actually from before, and I just did a red pom-pom, a natural wood bead that also came from Amazon, a white pom-pom, etc. Once it was the length that I wanted it to be, I actually used one of those plastic strawberries. I put it on the end as a stopper, and then I decided to make a tassel. So I wrapped both the white twine as well as some red yarn around my hand. I did 25 times each, so 50 total. And then I tied the loop through that little loop around my hand onto my garland strand. That is going to give you the start of your little tassel. Then I took some scrap cotton twine, tied it around the top and triple knotted it. That'll give you the top of your tassel. And then once that's tied, you go through at the bottom and just cut any of those loops so that they are now free strands. And then I just went through and made sure to trim and make sure everything was the right length. Then I went to the other end where that strawberry was and I wanted to add a little bit of whimsy. So I just used some sheer Dollar Tree ribbon also from the Valentine's Day release, but you could get this really anywhere. I added some of that checked stuff so it looked like it went with a set, and then I tied it in between my pom-pom and my little strawberry. I originally wanted them longer, but I realized that it was a little too long. It kind of looked like a strawberry bat, and I was like not feeling it, so <laughs> I decided to tie it on, trim the ends, and then I just really just kind of cut off any of the excess, and the shorter look was much better. Here is what it looks like. It really gives me like strawberry shortcake vibes. The pom-poms are super fun. It's still a wood bead garland in air quotes, but it also has some different texture. Those pom-poms are super fun. I like the play on the different colors and it gives you a fun way to kind of change up your tiered trays, but still having similar shapes and objects that you're used to decorating with. Up next is this cute little strawberry jam sign. And this is made from a color your own decor little mason jar that I found in the patriotic section at Dollar Tree. I gave it two coats of that ivory off-white paint and cut out this cute little decal on my Cricut and applied it. It is that easy. Then to make the top look not so blah, I added some of that Walmart fabric. And I love using similar fabrics or fonts or colors because that really ties everything together and it looks like a matching set. To hook it to the top of the sign, I just wrapped it with some jute twine. And then to get it to stand up, I took a Dollar Tree tumbling tower block and glued it to the back and it sits up just fine. I really love this cute little strawberry for my tiered tray and you will never guess what it's made out of. So Dollar Tree recently released some of these candles and when I saw the shape, I thought that looks like a strawberry that is kind of just like hanging from the strawberry plant. So I went through with some red acrylic paint. I gave it two coats so it was fully covered and then I decided to fix up the top. So I just took a Dollar Tree little paper straw and put that on the top as a little stem. And originally I wanted to use some burlap, but it was one of those like tinker with it for forever and it still does not look good. So instead I had a couple leaves left over from my fabric pillows originally. And so I just cut some slits in that and put it over the top of my little stem. And this looks way more like a strawberry. This sign you probably have seen me make over before and I absolutely love it. I bought so many because they're so fun. So this is just one of these signs that you find in the wedding section. They have some that say receptions, cocktails, etc. I just go through with white Waverly chalk paint and I give it three coats to make sure everything's fully covered. And I also painted the legs of this one red. Then I cut out a Cricut decal similar to the other signs that I have done with this same Dollar Tree sign. I have a flower market one, I have a patriotic one, so I will link those videos down below if you have a couple of these signs to use. I applied it with my Expressions Vinyl paper transfer tape. That's my favorite for applying vinyl to painted signs like this. And voila! It's a super quick and easy project and it is really fun with the little arrow shape. 
Another sign makeover that I did was this little box sign and this was actually just sitting in my basement about ready to get donated and I thought you know what let me try to paint that it would be the perfect size to fit on my tiered tray. So I gave it two coats of ivory paint. I took a long strip of my Walmart fabric, wrapped it around the side, and also added some jute twine to it as well. Then I cut out this decal. I love this saying. I've used it for the lemons, for the bees, but life is short. Make it sweet. It's from an old Dominion country song. I applied it to the right side of my sign, and there you have it. It is super quick and easy. If you don't have a Cricut, you could easily do stickers or rub-on transfers or draw on the side but i really like the simplicity of the sign and it was so easy to make now i personally don't have any radon mugs that would go with this theme so i decided to do some radon inspired candles so this red and white set of candles also comes from dollar tree and i go through and measure first so i know how big to design my decal these were six inches tall by about two inches wide depending on how big the letters were I cut one in red and one in white and weeded them out and then applied them to my candles. For this one, I'm using Expressions Vinyl Transfer Tape as well, but this is just their opaque one, which I will also link down below. And once everything was on there, I decided to add some ribbons again so these would look like they match the set. For the big red one, I also strung up another one of those plastic Amazon strawberries and just tied it onto the top so it hung to the side. Kind of like a little, looks like a wine charm to me, but in the cutest way, a little strawberry there. And these are super fun. I also went with summertime because that can also be incorporated into my patriotic decor. And it's nice because it gives me a little anchor for my tiered tray setup. I was on a roll with this Buffalo check fabric and so I decided to make one of these cute little wood houses to go on the tiered tray as well. So I just used some scrap wood and cut a little square piece and then I went over to my miter box to cut the two 45 degree angles for the top of the roof just because the piece was really small and my fingers would have been too close to the miter saw blade. Then I measured one piece that would be flush with the top of my house. And then I also measured another piece. These are just one by two scrap pieces that would then overlap and create a little house. Then I just used a sanding block, sanded down each of the pieces, gave it a quick stain with this aged barrel gray stain, and then brought it inside to add my fabric. So I stained the back so the back of the sign would look uniform with that roof stain. And then I just cut out a little piece of the fabric used some Mod Podge, attached it to the sign, made sure everything was pushed down and all the wrinkles were removed. And then I added some more to the top just to make sure that it was all stuck down to the wood. Once that dried, went through and trimmed off the excess fabric and then used some Gorilla Wood Glue to hook the roof together and then hook it to my little sign. Because you're not going to be hanging it and also there's not going to be a lot of weight on it i just used my mod podge container as well as the wood glue container just to push it up against and left it for maybe 30 minutes and it was totally sealed you don't have to worry about clamps i usually use clamps with the wood glue but it's not going to work here because it's such a wonky angle this is a really great supplementary piece to put in the background of tiered trays as well so I've had some little craft jars sitting in my stash in my basement for the longest time and I thought these would be fun to make it kind of look like there was some strawberry jam in there. So I went through first with some black chalk paint on a paintbrush and kind of flung it around the inside so you could get little black speckles. Then I added a little bit of water after everything dried to the bottom like just a little bit like maybe a teaspoon and the water made the paint a little more thin. I spun it around the outside of the jar so that it would kind of coat it red. And then I dumped out any of the excess, washed it down the sink, and then dried them upside down like this. While those were drying, I just took the lids and cut out some more of that fabric, wrapped it around the top, then wrapped it with some jute twine a couple times to get it to stay. In retrospect, I should have probably hot glued the piece of fabric there so it wasn't falling off, but this worked just fine. I trimmed any excess fabric and then I just added the lid back to my jar. 
So it's got a little red tint. It kind of looks like strawberry jam and it's another one of those great supplementary things that you can add to a vignette or your tiered tray just to give it a little bit of color and those lids match perfectly. So per usual, here is a quick time lapse of me decorating my tiered tray. This tiered tray is Hearth and Hand from Magnolia and it's available at Target and it's still available, I'm pretty sure, so I will leave it linked down below. This thing's awesome. The round large circles give me a lot of surface area to work with and I can use a variety of different heights to decorate it. Here's everything from what I made that made it onto the tiered tray. I love the little rolling pins and the ramekins, those fun little strawberries from Amazon, as well as my little fabric and wood strawberries. This is the first time I've done strawberry DIYs. I've gotten a lot of requests from you guys in the comments to do it, so let me know what you think. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to let us know down in the comments your favorite strawberry DIYs and hit subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Wood video. We'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! Can you say bye-bye? Bye! -bye. Bye.